All right. This is my video for a friend that shall be uh, not named currently. Uh, he requested on, from me how to use a nitrogen tank set up to fill shocks. Anyways, uh, pretty straightforward. We got a pretty sweet setup here that um, the three of us share. Uh, connection right here to the tank, uh, actual tank pressure gauge, and then regulated uh, pressure gauge and this is the regulator here which will give you the indication here then over here we got our shutoff valve right now it's shut off obviously now it's on in line with the line so shut that off and another pressure gauge here so nice thing is here is we also got a bleed off valve here and then coming to this little doohickey here this is actually pretty slick uh, give me one sec here Right, this is just a regular valve, trader valve right here. And then obviously in here you get the valve when you press down on this, obviously air goes in. So, the silver part just threads onto the outside here, like so. However, the pink one here, you can see right now it's actually pressed in all the way that pushes down on the actual Schrader valve, right? So right now in this setup, we're gonna have nitrogen coming out of here the minute we actually open our valve here, obviously once we're hooked up to the tank, all that other good stuff, right? When you back this out, this will basically close the Schrader valve and then you can actually get yourself away from the shock. Anyways. Get this set up here one sec. Okay. So this is hooked up to our nitrogen tank using a huge 30 mil wrench. Yeah, I think you've got something small like an adjustable that'll do fine too. So uh, main valve to the tank, righty tighty lefty loosey. The only good reason and thing I got out of college. Uh, anyways, we're gonna open this. And this will jump up right away, and then depending on where our regulator sits, that's going to jump up too. So, well, there you go. Tank's open. We got about uh, 15, 16, 17, 1800 PSI in the tank. So that's a shit ton. And then with the regulator here, we got 20, 40, we're at 160 PSI of pressure. So, secondary gauge shows no pressure because obviously the valve is not open, right? So what you're going to do next is, like I said, you're going to take the silver bit, thread it onto the Schrader, and I'll show you the valve stem of the uh, shock. Next, you're going to actually use the pink one to push in on the actual Schrader valve, right? So now we're going to get nitrogen through here. And I'll demonstrate here, just opening it a little bit. There you go. If we open this up, we've, we've essentially closed the Schrader valve. So we are going to get pressure in here, but not out the Schrader valve. So at this point, once you're done filling the shock, you want to simply just back this off. Like so. So we should have no nitrogen coming out now. I lied. Anyways, we, we do have nitrogen because, shit, this isn't the valve at all. This is the only valve. Anyways, if there's any resi residual pressure after you've taken the shock off, what you want to do is close the main valve first, obviously. Here's the kicker. You still have this entire line up to here, up to the valve, charged up, right? So this bleeder won't work. You basically have to just release the rest of the nitrogen through here there you go empty empty no pressure no residual pressure right so obviously make sure this is closed again unscrew this once you're done that screw this back on in case it falls over it protects the valve from getting knocked off and blowing your house up there you go greg this is how to use 
nitrogen filling.